Thank you, gentlemen. It's very rare someone actually lets you out of there from both ways. What a horrible morning. Well, it's afternoon now. Uh, it was horrible this morning, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wuss out, I'm, I'm gonna take the car. So I took the car, got over halfway to work, uh, then the battery light comes on, so I'm like, oh, what's, what's that all about then? I carried on going, then shortly afterwards the temperature light comes on, followed by a load, load more lights, and then the stop sign flashing on the dashboard. So I'm like, oh crap, something's horribly wrong. So I pulled over, all the electronics were going weak, like the wipers were going really slowly. It was pretty clear that uh, this was something like an alternator issue. Which uh, it kind of is, as it turns out. Had to get the RAC out to uh, bring me and the car back home. Yes, the problem was the water pump had seized up, which had also caused the alternator belt to snap. So, uh, car's off the road, I'm on the bike, and this weather is just horrible. Hopefully the rest of the week, according to the forecast when I last checked, looks pretty nice. So uh, I'm happy with having this one day of horrible rain if the rest of the week's going to be nice and dry. Anyway, I guess we'll see. Indicator does not work. Okay, so following on from this morning's breakdown in the car, my bike has no indicators. Perfect. All because of rain, most likely. I'm going to have to take the control box off and have a look, I suppose. <sighs> I checked these, I checked before I started on this journey, in fact, it's on video, here's, here's the proof if you want it, that I checked the indicators and my lights, as you can see, they're working fine, but now, nothing, I'll pull over in a minute and check my brake lights and headlights and stuff, just headlights on. Brake lights are working, so it is, it's just the indicators. Horn works. Right, no indicators. It's hand signals from now on. Funny thing is, this is about where uh, I had to pull over in the car earlier. So the bike doesn't decide to break down right about now. Because it was this lay-by where I pulled over, where that Travis Perkins lorry is. He's having a nap. Did you see that? 
Uh, even though my indicators aren't working, I still went to cancel the indicator after I've turned. Well, this is turning out to be a bit more of an eventful video than I planned it to be. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> Hopefully I will make it to work today. The hand signals, they don't really teach you that, do they? Obviously it's, you know, you stick your left hand to go left, your right hand out to go right, just like on a, on a bicycle. But in a car it's a bit different. They don't teach hand signals in a car now, do they? As far as I'm aware they don't, or is it part of the theory test? I can't remember. I think I know what the signals are in a car. Uh, you stick your hand straight out if you're going right. If you're turning left, you uh, rotate your arm in, uh, I think it's like an anti-clockwise motion out from you. And then when you're slowing down, you uh, move your arm up and down like um, a one-armed, a one-winged bird. <laughs> I think that's right. I think that's all of them. I don't know if there's any others. And if someone pisses you off, um, that's you know, well, everyone knows what that hand signal is. It's the one hand signal that's uh, really used in this uh, modern day. Right, don't drive into me. Oh. Fix the road. Let's see if my heated grips work. Could just be a fuse, couldn't it? I'll have to have a look to see what the indicators are. If they're just off the one fuse. Could be all it is. I'll have a look. When I get to work. So it's mainly been uh, electrical problems for me today and I'm, I'm probably going to get to work to find out that we're in a power cut. So I can't do any work anyway, might as well have stayed at home. <laughs> it wouldn't be unusual for that to happen, we do get uh, blackouts quite a lot because we're in the middle of nowhere. And it always seems like a tree falls on the power line quite frequently. Right, van behind me, I hope you're paying attention because you're not going to see an indicator light, you're going to see an arm sticking out, so don't run into the back of me. My gloves are soaking from this morning. They're just definitely no longer waterproof. Ah. My trousers have a little split in the crotch, so when I got to work, I realised I've been walking around looking like I've pissed myself. Good news is, indicators work. It was just the fuse change the fuse it's all fine now so hopefully uh, it's not going to blow again exhaust is sounding a little loud yeah so the exhaust has been getting worse more holes appearing and I keep putting this uh, gun gum cement on it which holds it for a while but then it gets blown off so what I've done now is I've bought some uh, of this flexi wrap like foil tape stuff, self adhesive foil tape. So I've wrapped a load of that around the uh, worst part of the pipe where it's just <laughs> the corrosion in it is is made it go. It is it's really thin. You could just poke holes in it, I reckon. So I've wrapped that up and then covered that in the cement, and uh, I was hoping that, that would hold it a bit more. But it sounds like it's uh, definitely a hole still somewhere that's not covered up. So. I'm not going to uh, waste any more time repairing it, I'm going to get a new set of pipes, stainless steel, and I'm going to have a go at fitting them myself, because it actually doesn't look too difficult, so uh, I'll be doing a video about that hopefully, if I can, uh, if this can just hold off long enough until I've uh, got my garage, then great, it'll be my first garage video. I'm hoping it holds off because I need my bike to uh, get to work because the car is dead. So, 
we've had the car break down, we've had the indicators fail on this. What is going to be the third thing? These things usually come in threes. I'm hoping that third thing is going to be... I don't know. <laughs> Something that doesn't involve me crashing. I had a comment over the weekend uh, on my uh, the smog video uh, from a bloke called Daz, I think his name was, if I remember correctly, saying he was following me about a week ago down these roads, down to Arundel. And uh, I do remember being followed by a bike, and I'm sure I even commented saying, oh, I wonder if this is a subscriber or something like that. Or... I said something like... I'm sure I said something like, um, the bike behind me, he doesn't know it yet, but he's my new biker friend or something like that. Something that was stupid. Uh, but I had a look back through the footage, but uh, I couldn't find it, so I think I've deleted the video that it was in. Never mind. Now, it's the RAC. I think that was the guy that... Uh, <laughs> that looked like the guy that picked me up this morning. Respect to the bikers riding in this shit. Horrible. Welcome to the world of an all-weather biker. Well, I say all weathers, I do rain. I do wind. I obviously do sunshine. I don't do snow. Or ice. But I'd like to give it a go. One day. Maybe get some training and stuff. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to try it, but I don't think I'd like to commute in it because, although I may have, may be able to develop the skills to control a motorcycle in those conditions, I just cannot trust other road users at all. People when it's snowing are just stupid. They don't give a duck. Well, I know I really shouldn't tempt these things, but the third thing hasn't happened yet. If it's something like a near miss, as in really a near miss, where, you know, no accident involved, then I'll take that. If that's going to be the third thing, I'll take it. I can handle that, but anything worse than that, oh, that'll be it. I'll never want to uh, wake up on a Monday ever again. Boss, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Thank you. Well, I'm nearly home. The third thing hasn't happened. H how long before... Now, how long after the first bad luck thing before the third thing has to happen by? Is it 24 hours? What's the law? <sighs> what a miserable day. It's nice to have the whole space to myself. Right, well, the third thing didn't happen, so... Thanks for watching. Ride safe. See you on the next one.